Hey, everybody. We are live at Pay Studios right now with Tall Wilkenfeld. Tall, it's great to see you again. Thanks for doing this yeah, again. Yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. In a couple years. Maybe That's more. right. Yeah, yeah. I think it was three years ago. We hosted yeah. you up in the tape room studio, and yeah. then we uh, heard you were coming, so we built you a log cabin here in the Thank middle of Manhattan. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like a, a serial killer's cabin. Yes. Yeah, that is uh, not nice quite what we were going for, but I <laughs> like that that is what you ran into it. And uh, yeah, we uh, here we are in the cabin. Congratulations to you. Pre-congratulations on Love Remains because the album comes out on March 15th on BMG and yeah, uh, you're going to play three songs from it today. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us what's coming up first? Um, well, uh, wait, we would like to play Killing Me. Perfect for the uh, for the serial killer vibe in here. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Thank you.
Thank you for doing this, and thank you for arranging this way today. Uh, we're being totally treated to uh, to the strings here, and it sounds it sounds amazing in the room. I hope you're having as much fun playing as, as I am listening to so it. So much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the first time this has been uh, been played like this out in public, right, with the string quartet. And is this? Can we talk a little bit about how it compares or contrasts with the arrangement that uh, uh, that exists on um, on Love Remains on the album? Yeah. Well, um, on the album, I have strings on one song. Um, it's called Haunted Love, and I want to play that song next. And I recorded that with a 19-piece orchestra. And uh, thank you. Um, but, but because uh, I, I really wanted to, to perform this live with you, like with you guys for the first time with strings, I thought maybe I'd you know do a couple other arrangements for the other songs and just have it be a thing that's just for paste. So, well, yeah. Well, we appreciate it very much. Yeah. It's that, that extra care is coming across. I mean, it's obvious just that all the, the, the extras that have gone into this, this particular session is totally worth it. I mean, it's, you know, the, the care and, uh, and love and attention that's gone into it totally comes across. So we love it. The whole internet, there's a great audience, a ton of people watching right now, and people are stoked, and I'm sure that it comes across through the wires and through the internet and through the screens and all that as well. So we appreciate it very much. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it was a... Uh, Probably, I would say, one of the best days of my life recording strings on this next song that you're about to hear. Because I wrote it as a solo bass piece. And when I was finished with it, I kind of wrote it like, a, it's almost like a classical piece, and but played on bass. And I, uh, I was imagining an orchestra, and I was like, how the hell am I going to get an orchestra? Like, yeah, right, tall, keep dreaming. But when I met uh, my producer that I was working with, Paul Stacy, like we talked about it and, and he heard the same thing. I'm like, okay, we got to make this happen now. And so we made it happen on the record. And so this is like the closest representation of it. We couldn't fit 19 people in here because all those uh, people are in the refrigerators. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this should be really, really fun. I'm super stoked. I can't even reach the end of my bass to tune it. So silly. <laughs> Watching my guitarist without a guitar just standing there is just the funniest thing for me. Guitar defines who I am, that's all there is. <laughs> the end. That's Owen Barry over there. Right. Killing it. Standing up. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. All right. This is Haunted Love. <laughs> actually hearing the pedal board. Is it going through? Sorry. Sorry, live audience. Are they turned on? Oh. 
See, that's why I have Owen. He even has an English accent. It's a weird song, this, isn't it? It's weird that we do this, you know. This is how it goes, the old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's that for you guys in there? All right, once again, this is Haunted Love. Oh, my restless 
Sounds, this sounds great. I really am enjoying what's happening in this room. Everything just sounds more epic with, with strings. <laughs> um, uh, so you've been, you've been able to work with some of the, the most notable, some of the biggest musicians ever. I mean, you worked with probably most notably Jeff Beck. Um, people might know you from having played with the Almonds, with Mick Jagger, with Herbie Hancock. Um, but uh, can you talk, talk a little bit about... Uh, we actually we've got one of Herbie Hancock's gold records up on the wall upstairs in the, oh, yeah? in the tape room. Yeah, there's a uh, for Future Shock. I it just it just ended up there. Um, and but that is not the question. The question is, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, some of the guest musicians who appeared on on this record on Love Remains? Oh yeah, sure. Um, well, I I basically used one ensemble for the for the whole project to keep it uh, with a cohesive sound and also these particular musicians. Um, when I went into the studio I, uh, and I recorded Corner Painter, which was is the first song on the album, which we're not playing today, um, I recorded that with uh, Blake Mills on guitar and Jeremy Stacy on drums and Paul Stacy producing it. And I really fell in love with that sound. And so I went home and vigorously like wrote another 12 songs or so and uh, brought it to this ensemble and then at that point we also you know wanted keyboards so we got uh Benmont Tench to play uh piano and organ and we had Zach Ray play um like everything else so yeah it's a really really awesome band and I feel really honored that they were part of this they sound terrific on it like I I love everything that everyone played and came up with yeah agreed. and I and I basically like brought the songs to them like in the studio, like they'd never heard them before. So it was, uh, it was really nice just sort of like arranging the songs in the studio in real time with live musicians. The whole record is cut live, we, you know, there's very few overdubs. It, we overdubbed the strings on Haunted Love, but, um, and woodwinds on one thing after another. But besides that, yeah, it's, it's primarily live, which is great, you know, like people yeah. don't get to do that a lot these days, you know. Well, was it a decision to, to not share the music ahead of time? Was it just a like a logistical thing, or was that was it a, a conscious decision to to wait until you're all actually in the studio together to share the music with Ben Mont and with uh, and with Blake and everybody? Who it was, was a on conscious it? decision because th those guys are are studio professionals and like they're really good at like hearing something for the first time and and just playing their first instinct. And it's great to always capture a first instinct by a, a, a musician that has that kind of creativity because like it just comes and goes when you first hear a song something hits you I mean I, I'm the same way like I love to when I'm playing bass on other people's records just go in there and not hear it and just like have them play the song and then go straight in and play that song because like something happens when you're truly inspired by hearing a song for the first time so that was really really magical yeah well, and you can I'm always like hone in musicians later, like after they do their, you know, first interpretation of a song. If you're like, well, can you do a little bit less of this, a little more of that? That's easy to do, but you can't go back to the first inspiration. Right. And so, yeah, there there are quite a, quite a few like first takes on this record too. Well, Those takes hopefully are, everybody yeah. everybody who's watching and listening right now is able to check it out. If you're just joining us, Love Remains is the record. It's coming out on March 15th, and mm -hmm. we're hearing three songs from it right now. The first two have sounded beautiful, and uh, can you tell us about the third one you're going to do? Yeah. Well, I'm sure like everybody watching can, can relate to being in love and getting into a relationship, and then once you're in the relationship, realizing that that person only loves pieces of you.
say you love me You say that you care Can't live without me Desert me You wouldn't dare On our first exchange You saw all the right signs And filled in the blanks with Imaginary lies And now all my colors Are here to see You only love Pieces of me I don't keep any hours I stay up all night Strum my guitar in the middle of a fight Then I leave town for months on end To play in a band Things you said you loved about me Getting hard for you to stand funny uh, is that like throughout this whole set I was laughing about like the lyrics and serial killers <laughs> like you only love pieces of me <laughs> wow <sighs> well that's one of the nice things about doing no. sessions like this you learn new things about I, the song every I've, time and uh, one of the nice things, things about playing shows in serial killer cabins is that it changes the context of literally everything maybe I should do that serial killer podcast now <laughs> Reanalyze all my songs. Yeah, and hopefully like the, the season nine theme of Dexter, maybe. <laughs> um, this was great. Thank you very much cool. for coming through and playing. Uh, so we, if you're just joining us, we just heard three songs off of Love Remains. The album's coming out on March 15th on BMG. And um, there are there's no tour dates on the books right now, but as they are as they are announced, it'll all be up at uh, tallwilkenfeld.com. Yep, and yep. Uh, by all accounts, that Mercury Lounge show last night, two nights ago, was outstanding so um uh thank you for doing this in our uh, in our killer cabin yeah and we're gonna make a tour announcement in a few days for some some dates in june so look out for them all right thank you Tom. all right bye <laughs>